Well, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Daniel Karras, or Daniel Karras. I'm also known as Cyborg Alpha. And when I was uh, uh, sort of going through my Twitter accounts, my Twitters, uh, that uh, as I do on a daily basis, I saw one Twitter that said that we're talking about. Uh, it's called "Help Stop Cutting," and a while ago, uh, you know, and I gotta give you a bit of my background is that I'm an nth degree nerd. I, up until six months ago, didn't think I had any business being on YouTube. I didn't really think that uh, YouTube was the place for a nerd like myself to be here. Uh, but I saw this channel called Nerds RL. Uh, it was a girl named Cassandra who had been vlogging for. Uh, at that time, about a year and a half. She's just past the two-year mark now. She's, or she's coming to the two-year mark now. Uh, put up a thousand videos. And when I saw that, I said, well, maybe a nerd like myself, I'm an astrophysicist. I spend an enormous amount of time study, studying. Uh, I qualify as uh, what the Japanese call, Japanese call an otaku. That's, uh, for anyone, anyone who knows... Uh, Anime, the Lolita style, uh, any of that Japanese, you know, the anime conventions and so on and so forth, they'll know what an otaku is. It's basically a person who really stays at home. They're not comfortable with themselves. And uh, it's not, it's easier pretending to be somebody else than it is to be yourself. So, um,. That's how I sort of came out to be. I said I start my started my show Big Bang Theory RL. Started getting becoming more comfortable with myself, and then the next step was to really step up there and become more comfortable with who I am. Now I was already com comfortable being a nerd because I'm I'm used to it. Uh, I've been like this since grade one. Uh, grade one is when I was first marked special and sort of separated from the rest of the class and everyone else kind of knew it and I kind of slowly got to realize what I was but even when that happened it didn't really bother me too much because I, I don't know I never paid attention to what other people thought of me there was it wasn't something that I sort of got up there and said mm, maybe I should behave differently or behave in a way that's not like myself but that sort of, that, that kind of really, that didn't really sort of click with who I was. So it never really became, uh, in a way, my sense. So I never really got into a lot of the, uh, the self-harm that a lot of people are see now today are getting into. And, or that some of the self-harm that I've, that I've seen uh, people in the past get into. I just kind of just moved along the way it was, and basically a few months ago, uh, as I was uh, looking around to see uh, what was going on on the internet uh, with my YouTube channel, as, as I was uh, rolling things out, I saw that uh, there was this thing called Project for Awesome, and that uh, you could, uh, when I follow Project Awesome, it was all great and stuff like that. They were talking about cyberbullying at the time, and Every time I went to a site that talked about cyberbullying or, or some other thing that was urgent, what they did is they fundamentally just, they basically passed you on to a uh, another site, where at the end of the day you had to write out a check. So basically, this was checkbook charity, and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do something more hands-on because, you know, I know I know what it's like to be rejected from society. And I also know that there is a beyond the initial... Re when you're first rejected, it's, hurt. It, it's hard to deal with. But once you get a handle on it, it's actually not that bad. And the, the key to this is not feeling so alone. If you think that, you're, that something that's happened to you, that you're all by yourself, it's harder to deal with. But once you realize that you're not by yourself, that there's a whole bunch of other people there who are just like you... Now you can sort of just hang around and be with other people who are like who've gone through similar things that you've gone through, 
and you don't feel so alone. It doesn't, that doesn't mean that, 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 that some of the pain that you feel from the hurt you're feeling is going to go away. That happens over time once you, once you accept who you are and you're happy with who you are. That's a progress that happens, you know, in time. But to prevent yourself from hurting yourself, you really need to start talking to people. And so I created this environment, and this is why I'm doing this video for, for uh, help, uh, help Stop Cutting, to let people know that there are places on YouTube, like what I set up called Geek uh, and you, can come, you just come to my channel, you're gonna, where you can follow me, you can follow me on Twitter. Twi my Twitter is uh, Cyborg, C-Y-B-R-O-G, uh, and then underscore Alpha. And then uh, on Tumblr, I'm also on Tumblr, and it's cyborg uh, hyphen alpha. And I got to make it, and this is what I do sometimes. I, I jumble my words and letters sometimes. And cyborg alpha for Twitter is c y b o r g underscore alpha a l p h a. That's my Twitter. So you can do Twitter, Tumblr. I'm also on YouTube. Um, this will be linked actually to my YouTube account, and you'll see that it's going to be in a playlist called Geekolia. There you'll find a lot of other stuff about people who have been uh, knocked out of society, who have been left out of society. And you'll understand that you aren't by yourself in this, and that you can sit down and talk to people. But it's not it, getting to feeling good, feeling happy again, is not something that's going to happen immediately. It's something that's going to take some time. But I'm sitting, doing this message now, this video message now, for Help Stop Cutting, cutting, because I know that you can stop it if this is something you really, in, you know, you want to stop this, then all you have to do, you don't have to tell me who you are or come up and identify yourself as a cutter. Just come start hanging out with us. If you don't know anyone else, come hang out with me. And now and you'll see that a lot of there are a lot of other people out there like yourself. Then what I'm saying is you don't have to be alone anymore. If you want to hang out with me on YouTube, you know, or, or on Twitter or on Tumblr, not a problem. You're more than welcome to hang out with me. You're more than well, welcome to talk to me. Uh, as I said, I've I've been through this for for many years. Uh, I'm happy with myself who I am now. Uh, I was able to get over my uh, my issues and start my own uh, my own YouTube channel. As a matter of fact, it's, it's spreading out to multiple YouTube channels. I've been on doing this now for six months. So you know, there is hope. There is a beyond what what's, what's, what you there is a beyond what you're feeling right now. Please stop your cutting. Uh, and if you need help doing that. Don't hesitate to contact me. Also, you said you can go to. Uh, there's two places on um, that you can reach. Uh, help stop cutting at. They're at help stop cutting, and the the help, the stop, and the cutting all have capital capital letters. Uh, that's uh, uh, on Twitter, and then on Tumblr is again it's help stop cutting dot tumblr. Dot com. So you have these two th these two places to go. You have my place. You have uh, uh, healthcutting.com. These are two places you can go. You can talk to me. You don't have to write out. A ch there is no checkbook here. We're not going to be asking you for money at any point in time. So uh, you're more than welcome to uh, to you know come and talk to us and hang out with us. You, you, I mean, with me anyways. You'll have somebody to hang out with. Uh, I'll follow you back on your Twitter account. I'll, you know, a lot of these different things. So is it in, in, on, on YouTube, you, if you have a YouTube account, I'll follow you back on your YouTube. I'll sub. So that way we can start hanging out together. All right. I hope this helps. And I will see you.